A mobile app is just ridiculously relevant in the African context, specifically in Kenya, where you have just amazing innovations already. 95% of adults here in Kenya have a cell phone. There's more cell phones in this country than there are toothbrushes. We always start with our mission. Our mission is to make 50 million students in Africa smarter. And the way we do that is through mobile technology. We have an SMS app, we have an Android app, and we also work on the web. Whatever people have is what we deliver to them. And essentially what it is, is a virtual tutor and teacher's assistant. So it's a way for students to access courses through a low-cost cell phone. We've expanded now our efforts down into Tanzania and Ghana and are really focusing and thinking more about how we can spread to other areas in Africa beyond just Kenya. When I looked at the product that Tony was suggesting, I, I did think that it would be a big win. I think that by that time there were a lot of SMS services that didn't charge very much per week and education would be a, a great way to do that because parents spend a lot of it on education and we could still make it affordable and very highly scalable. And what we provide for them is lessons and quizzes that are aligned to the whole national syllabus in that country in every single subject. In Kenya, if you're a class 8 student and we're starting to take you through your course, you begin with science content and you would begin with the human body unit and then an assessment or quiz uh, where you're tested on that lesson right away. And you're receiving individual feedback based on answer choices that you give. And that is helping me now in studies so that I can also understand well in school. And some things which I have not known, let's say, I understand them and then I forget. And as I said, there. We have about almost 500,000 users um, who've used the app. Um, you know, age ranges, they vary. We were going for the young students, but, you know, I received calls from teachers who were kind of using the app to give questions to their students. So teachers picked it up. Even when we named our company, Aneza means to spread, and the whole idea of our company is to have enormous reach. What we do is we charge an extremely low cost to our users, and our business model is, is based on large scale. So we charge 10 cents per week to our users. It's deducted from their airtime in order to have a subscription and an unlimited usage of our SMS app. What's interesting about Anasa is the fact that they've recognised that for this to be sustainable it needs to be a commercial entity and therefore, unlike a lot of the other charitable and NGO organisations, this is a real business and they're looking to scale it to make it a sustainable, long-term, profitable entity. My dad was an engineer, so I was very exposed to um, computers from when I was uh, very young and um, I learned how to program at about eight years old. Originally. I, my background's in teaching. I've been a teacher now for 10 years. For the next couple of years, and what we're really aiming for for the next five years is to reach 10 million students throughout the continent. 